In Publisher, you can access the drawing tools from Designer through Studio Link as long as you own Designer and Publisher and have both apps installed on the same device. Here I'm working on a magazine spread and I'd like to add some more doodles around the model. I'm going to move from the Publisher persona to the Designer persona by tapping the Publisher logo and selecting Designer from the list. Notice when I do this, my Tools panel changes and now I have Affinity Designer's primary toolset. The pencil tool is great for freehand illustrating and annotating, and it creates vector curves, so we can edit them afterwards, and even scale it up without the lines pixelating. I'm going to tap the colour preview to open the colour panel, and set my stroke colour to white. I don't want the fill, but I don't need to worry about removing it, because Use Fill is disabled on the context toolbar. Next I'll go to the stroke panel, and check that the stroke width is set to 3. Now I could tap the panel icon to close it and clear my workspace. Now I'm going to use the pencil tool to add to the illustrations. A two finger tap will undo and a three finger tap will redo. To delete a line, select the move tool and tap the curve that you want to remove. To select multiple curves, hold one finger down while tapping to select with another finger. Then long press on the screen to open the quick menu. Here we can do a variety of operations like copying and pasting and below we can group, expand stroke and so on. I'll press delete to remove the curves. If you find it tricky to draw smooth lines, the pencil tool has a stabilizer feature on the context toolbar. There are two kinds of stabilizer. The rope stabilizer pulls the line behind it. and the window stabilizer has an elastic feel. You can also enable auto close, which joins the final node back to the first node once you've finished drawing. The vector brush tool also creates vector curves, but it gives the appearance of a raster brush. It can be found by tapping the pencil tool, then tapping it again. We can open the brushes panel and tap the category title to choose from a large selection of brushes. I'm going to select the classic round marker. You can resize your brush on the slider or tap the value and type a specific number. We can also edit the length of the stabilizer on the lower slider. Now that we've drawn our curve, we can swap to the node tool and tweak it. If the look of the brush isn't quite right for your piece, you can select the curve and go back to your brushes panel to see how other brushes would look. Now we can move back to the publisher persona and enable preview mode to see how the illustrations look on the page. So that was a look at how you can use designers vector tools in Affinity Publisher. Thanks for watching.